In 2004, a group of astronomers at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona were going about their routine observations when they stumbled upon something extraordinary. They had discovered a new near-Earth asteroid, designated 2004-MN4, later known as Apophis. The discovery of Apophis was a moment of triumph for the team, led by astronomer Roy Tucker. They were ecstatic to have found a new celestial body, but their joy was short-lived. Upon closer examination, the team realized that Apophis posed a significant threat to our planet. It was a massive asteroid, estimated to be around 335 meters in diameter, and its orbit was dangerously close to our planet. At 335 meters, and a velocity relative to the Sun of 30 kilometers per second, if Apophis were to hit Earth, the damage would be equivalent to 700 megatons of TNT. At the impact site, an estimated 132,000 people vaporize. Another 2.5 million die from the shockwave alone. 5 million from the wind blast. Anyone within a 30-kilometer radius would suffer lung and hearing damage. When it's over, at the epicenter, a 3-kilometer wide and a 400-meter deep crater remains. The team at Kitt Peak immediately shared their findings with the Minor Planet Center, the official group for observing and reporting on minor planets, and on December 20, 2004, the news went viral. In a matter of hours, the whole world was buzzing with the news of Apophis. The initial data suggested that Apophis had a chance of impacting Earth in 2029. The team worked tirelessly to gather more data, hoping to refine their calculations and determine the true threat level. They used powerful telescopes and sophisticated computer models to track the asteroid's trajectory. In trying to make sense of the data, moments of hope and despair waved by the team, as it was all inconclusive. The pressure was immense, the fate of the world seemed to rest on their shoulders, and the media was closely following their every move. They worked around the clock, often neglecting their own needs in the pursuit of knowledge, and finally, after months of painstaking work, they had gathered enough data to make a decisive statement. They announced that Apophis would indeed come close to Earth in 2029, but with certainty, it would not impact our planet, at least not for a few decades. The asteroid would pass within 32,000 kilometers of Earth's surface, less than a tenth of the distance from the Earth to the Moon, however, closer than some satellites. This close approach may sound alarming, Current projections indicate that Apophis poses no significant risk of impact with Earth during this encounter. However, the asteroid's trajectory may be influenced by Earth's gravitational pull, potentially altering its orbit in the future. This ongoing problem poses a question. What can we do to stop an asteroid, if anything? Apophis is just one of the 25,000 near-Earth objects discovered as of 2023. Nearly 10,000 of them are at least 140 meters in diameter. Detecting asteroids, especially smaller ones, can be challenging due to several factors. Asteroids can vary widely in size, ranging from tiny dust grains to larger objects several meters in diameter. Smaller asteroids are particularly difficult to detect because they produce fainter signals and may go unnoticed until it's too late. Scanning the skies is a complex task, not only because of large areas that need to be examined, but because an asteroid might not have an immediate direct path towards Earth. Basically, we have no idea what to look for or where to point our telescopes at. And if that wasn't enough of an issue, telescopes are usually limited by size and quality of their mirrors, among other components. The way a telescope works is straightforward. At the back, you have a primary mirror that collects light. In the case of the Hubble telescope, 
the primary mirror focuses the gathered light onto a secondary mirror that reflects it back towards the scientific instruments. The key here is that the larger or the more area the primary mirror can collect light, the more details it can see. This is necessary due to the inverse square law, where light intensity changes with distance from the source. If you so much as double the distance, the intensity decreases by a factor of 4, if you triple, by a factor of 9. At millions of kilometers away, well, let's say we are now talking about pixels on the screen. The solution is obvious. Big mirrors and lots of telescopes. When Apophis was discovered, its distance from Earth was over 90 million kilometers away, with its orbit passing Venus and Earth. It completes an orbit around the Sun in about 0.9 years. NASA has done the math and concluded that we might be safe for the next 100 years, with only a small chance to get hit in 2029, but another close call is coming in 2068. Lurking in the shadows There is an asteroid with an average diameter of 1,000 meters, named Icarus. Currently, the impact probability is extremely low, 0.003%, but if it were to collide with Earth, Icarus carries an estimated energy on impact of 75 gigatons. For an asteroid this size, there are few options available, kinetic impact or nuclear explosion. The Double Asteroid Redirection Test DART, was a planetary defense technology demonstration conducted by NASA to test the effectiveness of a kinetic impactor in deflecting an asteroid's orbit. The mission targeted the asteroid moonlet Dimorphos, a small body approximately 160 meters in diameter, orbiting the larger asteroid Didymos, which is about 780 meters in diameter. The DART spacecraft was launched on November 24, 2021, and successfully impacted the Morphos on September 26, 2022. The spacecraft's sole instrument, the Didymos Reconnaissance and Asteroid Camera for Optical Navigation Draco, in conjunction with sophisticated guidance, navigation and control systems, allowed DART to identify and distinguish between the two asteroids and target the smaller body. The impact was intended to shorten the Morphos orbital period around Didymos by approximately 1% or roughly 10 minutes. The collision changed the speed by a small fraction of its total velocity, but over time, this small nudge would add up to a significant shift in the asteroid's path away from Earth. NASA's DART mission was the world's first planetary defense technology demonstration aimed at validating asteroid deflection techniques that could be used in the future to protect Earth from dangerous asteroids. The mission's success marked a significant step forward in our ability to mitigate potential asteroid impacts and safeguard our planet. Now, what about bigger asteroids? If kinetic impact is out of the table, nuclear is our last hope. But this option should be thought of carefully, as it may not produce the desired outcomes. When considering the use of nuclear explosion to deflect an asteroid, there are concerns about fragmentation. If a nuclear device is detonated on or near the asteroid, the explosion could cause it to break it apart into smaller pieces rather than deflecting the entire body as intended. This fragmentation could lead to a number of issues. The fragmentation of the asteroid is difficult to predict, and it's possible that some fragments could still be on a collision course with Earth. Instead of dealing with a single large asteroid, we are now facing multiple smaller fragments. This outcome is harder to track and deflect due to the increased number. If the fragments are large enough and on a collision course with Earth, they could potentially cause more widespread damage than a single larger asteroid because of the added impact velocities. Lest we forget that sending nukes into space is very controversial and extremely dangerous as any problem with the launch system may cause problems on Earth. In recent years, SpaceX has revolutionized space travel by making it significantly more affordable to send objects into space. This is largely due to the development of reusable rockets, particularly 
the Falcon 9 and the Starship, which drastically reduced the cost of each launch. As a result, the cost per kilogram of payload has significantly decreased, making space more accessible for both commercial and scientific endeavors. In the context of asteroid defense, this affordability is critical. If an asteroid were to be on a collision course with Earth, the ability to quickly and efficiently launch multiple spacecrafts to intercept and or deflect the asteroid is vital. With SpaceX advancements, we are now in a position where such a response is more feasible and practical, highlighted by the success of the DART mission. Without a doubt, the success of this mission was made possible in part by the affordable launch capabilities provided by SpaceX. Moving forward, the ability to respond quickly and effectively to potential threats will be crucial for the safety and security of our planet.